Did you know Bonfire Night, also known as Guy Fawkes? Night celebrated on the 5th of November, mainly in Britain, goes back to 1605, when Guy Fawkes, a member of the Gunpowder Plot, planned to blow up the House of Lords and kill the Protestant King, James I of England and James VI of Scotland, but was arrested whilst guarding the explosives in a tunnel under the House of Lords. Fox was born in 1570 to Protestant parents and educated in York. His father Edward died when he was eight years old. His mother Edith went on to remarry a Catholic, Dennis Bainbridge of Harrogate. In 1591, Fox went to fight in the Eighty Years' War for Catholic Spain. In 1604, Fox became involved with a group of English Catholics led by Robert Catesby, who wanted to assassinate the Protestant King James and replace him with his daughter, Princess Elizabeth. The first meeting with the conspirators took place on the 20th of May, 1604, at an inn called Duck and Drake in Strand, London. One of the conspirators, Thomas Percy, was appointed a bodyguard for His Majesty's service. Through the role, he was given access to a house in London belonging to the keeper of the King's wardrobe. Fox was given the job as a caretaker going by the name of John Johnson. The keeper's room was filthy, so was considered an ideal place to hide and store gunpowder. Fox's final role was established during meetings in October, where he was to light the fuse and escape across the Thames. A few of the conspirators were concerned that fellow Catholics would be present in the House of Lords, so they sent a letter to a fellow Catholic, Lord Montagle, to stay away on the 5th of November. This aroused suspicion, and he brought it to the attention of King James, who ordered a search of the cellars underneath Parliament, which was carried out in the early hours of the 5th of November. There, Fox was seen leaving the cellar after midnight and arrested. Barrels of gunpowder were discovered hidden under piles of firewood and coal. During Fox's interrogation, he was asked what his intentions were with such a large amount of gunpowder, to which Fox replied, to blow you Scotch beggars back to your native mountains. The room in which Fox was interrogated in was later called the Guy Fox Room. Fox revealed five names of the conspirators and their intention to Princess Elizabeth on the throne. While Fox was at the tower, the other conspirators fled to the Midlands. They were caught on the morning of the 5th of November. Four were shot dead, and the others taken to the Tower of London. The trial of the plotters began on Monday, 27th of January, 1606, where Fox, his co-conspirators, were placed on display on a purpose-built scaffold. Here, the jury and the attorney general told the court each of the condemned would be drawn backwards to his death by a horse. Their genitals would be cut off and burnt before their eyes, and their bowels and hearts removed. They would then be decapitated, and the dismembered parts of their bodies displayed, so that they might become prey for the fowls of the air. On 31st of January, 1606, Fox and his co-conspirators were dragged from the tower to Westminster, opposite the building they had attempted to destroy. His fellow plotters were then hanged and quartered. Fox was the last to stand on the scaffold. As Fox began to climb the ladder to the noose, it became apparent the rope was incorrectly set, causing Fox to die immediately, thus avoiding torture. However, his body parts were still distributed to the four corners of the kingdom as a warning to would-be traitors. An act of Parliament was designated for each 5th of November to lighting bonfires celebrating the King's escape from assassination. Although there were thirteen conspirators, Fox is the one individual who was well associated with the plot.